Tell me, what's happening in Shu these days? Of course, Jiang Wei is still adopting a hardline approach, but he's losing support all the time. Defectors are growing in number. The Shu Emperor simply continues to do as Jiang Wei instructs and sends his people to war. Lord Liu Chen is... I mean, Liu Chen is not fit to carry on the dream of his Lord Father and Lord Zhuge Liang. It's... It's all that fool's fault that Shu is on the verge of ruin. <sighs> Master Zhao? Thanks for letting me know. We'll take you in, and anyone else who wants to surrender. Don't worry. We'll treat you well. Thank you so much, my lord. We'd better get back to Luo Yang. So this campaign north was not satisfactory either, it seems. Please forgive me, Lord Liu Chan, but next time, I will be successful. Next time, huh? Zheng Wei, why do you continue to make these offensive campaigns to the north? How? How can you ask that of me, my lord? Lord Liu Bei and the Prime Minister wanted to defeat Cao Wei. The officers and troops are fighting. The commoners are working in order to achieve that goal. And you ask me why? No, that's not what I mean. I was just trying to say. Our campaign to the north will be very successful. My dear Lord, please do pray for our victory. It's all right, Shinsai. I'm just not good at expressing exactly how I truly feel. Continuing a fight that hurts the people for the sake of a dream. I cannot help but feel beyond awful about the situation. What are we doing? I cannot help but wonder where we are headed with all of this. Hmm. You look deep in thought, Master Zhao. What is it that troubles you? It seems to me that Shu has lost sight of its former goals and is now continuing to wage war without good reason. Our intelligence tells us that there are those within the Shu ranks unhappy with this state of affairs. They feel constant war with Wei is draining their kingdom. I am wondering if there is a way we can bring an end to this meaningless conflict. That will not be easy. Wei and Shu have a long history of enmity. But the people who created that history are no longer with us. I think you know it's not that simple, Master Zhao. If only there were someone in the Shu ranks who felt the same way about things as you. Zhao, I have received reports of suspicious movement in Shoshun. Despite the fact that we have no plans to attack U, excessive quantities of provisions and weaponry are being stockpiled within the castle. <sighs> Do you really have to bring me this kind of news at a time like this? <laughs> it will be considerably more bothersome if we allow this situation to fester. Alright, I'll pay Jugo Don a visit. Oh, and on the way, I think I'll call by Xu Chung and speak to my brother. Lord Sima Zhao. I bring urgent news. Juga Dun of Shochun has betrayed us and has joined forces with U. No! Why now? I just don't understand. 
Master Zhao, we must send a messenger to Master Jugo Dun at once and discern his true intent. Yes, you're right. But we must also prepare for war. If we have to fight U, we will need all the men we have. We should request His Majesty join us. Yuan Ji, please go to Zhang Hui. Ask him to convince His Majesty to cooperate with our plans. Very well. The gates to Shoshun are closed. If we wish to organize our forces, Shapi is probably the place to do it. Yes. Everyone, head for Shapi. By the way, Jia Chong, have you made any progress on identifying the one pulling the strings behind the scenes of these rebellions? <laughs> Wait just a little longer. The failure of our latest northern campaign was a direct result of my own folly. I have taken responsibility for this by demoting myself from Grand General to the rank of Rear General. Huh. I believe you claimed victory was in our grasp. What happened? I would thank you to refrain from threatening the security of our lives here in the castle any further. Master Huang Hao, why is it that you seem so concerned with the quality of life in the castle? Lord Liu Chen is the Emperor of Shu, our leader in all things. The quality of life enjoyed by the leader of any state is the greatest indication of the prosperity of that state. A certain level of luxury is essential to prove to outsiders the strength of the Kingdom of Shu. Really? Is an emperor's job simply to live a life of luxury? I don't recall Lord Liu Bei doing that. Master Jugo Liog never said anything of the sort to Lord Liu Chan either. Th this is how I feel on the matter. I don't have to stand here and be argued with. Everyone, I would like to hear from Zhang Wei. So... What is it you intend to do next? I intend to prepare meticulously in order to assure ourselves of victory in this final northern campaign. Final? Why do you say that? Because this time, we will claim victory and end way. All previous campaigns involved us attacking in increments, being sure to secure each base along the way. But I now realize that victory is impossible fighting like that. For this final campaign, we will employ all our forces and strike directly at the enemy main camp. That is why our preparations must be flawless and the strategies employed perfect, because this will be our final effort. Lies! He says this is the last time. But if he fails, he is sure to carry on. Besides which, what gives you the idea that you could achieve what Master Zhuge Liang never could? The Prime Minister put his life on the line in the battle on the Ujung Plains. With a little more time, victory would have been ours. If I do the same, and determine that this is our final campaign, if we attack with everything we have, body and soul, then we will win! Jiang Wei, I want you to make me a promise. This must be the last time. I want you to guarantee that you will end this war with Wei. My lord! Guarantee? How can he do any such thing? Zhao, the envoy we sent to Jugo Dun has been executed. What? How could he do that? That's not like him. What's gotten into Jugo Dun? I warned you that Jugo Dun behaves unpredictably when angered. But I see that Wen Qin, who defected to Wu himself, is also in the castle with him. I am sure the two traitors are getting along famously. Jugo Dun's treachery 
is beyond doubt. There is no need for you to worry anymore on that front, Zhao. I suppose not. I'll have to wait until after we've defeated him to ask him the reason why. All forces, we will launch an attack against Shochun and capture the traitor Jugo Dun! I have nothing to say to you. Do not waste my time. Kill me. No. I will have you speak, Jugo Dun. You have always been so loyal to Wei. Why did you suddenly turn your back on us? How dare you? You were the one who accused me of treason and sent a spy in to monitor my actions. A spy? What are you talking about? Huh. So you're going to feign ignorance, are you? All of a sudden you're a master of the arts of duplicity. That's not the only reason, anyway. Master Sima Shi brought stability to the land by removing all dangerous elements, even if it meant he had to play the villain. But you... You try and form peace accords with Shu. You reject everything your brother has done. You are not fit to follow in his footsteps! I have heard what you have to say, Jugo Dun. Now you must listen to me. My father and my brother, and Master Cao Pi and Master Cao Cao before them. All they ever wanted was one thing, an end to the chaos. It is my belief that my duty as the leader of Wei is to respect that desire and do all I can to bring it to fruition. But... Methods will always differ, from era to era and from person to person. But if you see only the method and lose sight of the goal, you betray the vision of my father and my brother. And you insult those who have given their lives to support the Kingdom of Wei. <sighs> I... I... I may have been wrong. Jugo Dun, who was it who told you I suspected you of treason? That... that was... that was His Majesty. I... I have been used by the Emperor. But as you say, Master Sima Zhao, the Emperor's methods will not bring an end to this war. Jugo Dun. Master Sima Zhao, you must execute me. I have rebelled, and that has cost the lives of many soldiers and innocent civilians. My crime is great. But I ask you, please, can you find it in your heart to spare the lives of the men who served under me and followed my orders? Very well. I will guarantee their safety. I am most grateful. What will you do now, Zhao? You were the one who sent in the spy, weren't you, Jia Chong? You are bothered by his words, that it was the spy who triggered his rebellion. But he and the Emperor were in league long before that. He would have turned his back on us sooner or later. Or perhaps... Perhaps you wish to punish me for intentionally causing him to revolt. No. I don't. I'm going back to Xu Chong. The crime of treason has been borne entirely by Jugo Dun. Wen Xin is already dead. As a result, there will be no punishment for you. Master Sima Zhao, I am most grateful. As am I, my lord. If you would be willing to grant me the honor, I would like nothing more than to fight for you in battle. As would I, my lord. I see. Well, I couldn't be happier to have the services of two such splendid young warriors. I look forward to fighting alongside you, Wen Yang and Wen Hu. My lord! It is an unparalleled honor. It is just as we thought.
All of the insurrections were instigated by His Imperial Highness. <laughs> Can you really blame him? Yes. It actually stands to reason. The Sima family are extremely powerful. They have talent, strength, and a lot of experience to back them. Surely, you can see how something like that would look to his Imperial Highness, who has only his lineage. Ah, what a pain. I mean, we've always done all we could for Cao Wei. Ah, yes, honestly, it was done in good faith. And because of that, we killed Cao Shuang and overthrew a corrupt government. And now that is coming back to haunt us. You have become a threat to Cao Mao and a threat to Cao Wei. Jiao. Will you just hang your head and watch as it all falls apart before your very eyes? So then, is this my destiny? My fate? The time has come to end Sao Wei. We will usher in a new age! <laughs>